The Sandman, the 37th Doctor Who Big Finish main range release, first released in four parts across CD and download on the 24th of October 2002, and written by Simon A. Forward. The Sixth Doctor, voiced once again by Colin Baker and his companion Evelyn Smythe, voiced by Maggie Staples, end up on a spaceship called The Clutch. Now, The Clutch is mainly a connection collection of travellers. Kind of a space version of a certain derogatory term referred to with the G that I'm not going to mention here. But these people kind of travel from planet to planet, kind of selling their wares and just trying to make a living while traveling. They end up meeting a space traveler named Mordekin, played by Robin Bo Bowerman, as well as his quite timid companion Nintaru played by Stephanie Colburn. But also aboard the ship are a group of creatures known as the Galliari, kind of like a cross between humans and lizards. And it turns out the Doctor rather has a history with the Galliari, and the reason why the Galliari cannot settle on one planet is because of the Doctor. Amongst the Galliari are the General Voshka, voiced by Ian Hogg, Orchestrator Shull, voiced by Mark Donovan, Commander Brell, voiced by Mark Walton, and Director Nerosha, played by Annika Wills. Now, Annika Wills is a particularly important part of this review because she is a Doctor Who veteran, in a way, because she played companion Polly Wright, who travelled with the first and second Doctors in the 1960s, travelling from the story The War Machines through to The Faceless Ones. And this isn't exactly a new thing, because there have been occasions where previous Doctor Who actors have returned for smaller roles. I believe Jacqueline Hill, um, while she was uh, companion Barbara Wright for a while, she eventually did come back for a small villainous role. And it's also not uncommon for Doctor Who actors to come back for bigger roles after their small ones. It's people like Colin Baker, Car Colin Baker, Karen Gillan, Freeman Archerman, they've all made returns for other roles in, in Doctor Who, but this was Annika Wills' big return, and I think she does well here. Now, the reason why the Galliari are somewhat hesitant about the Doctor is because in their culture, the Doctor is a be is also their equivalent of the Sandman. He is the kind of nightmare, the thing that lives in their nightmares, the thing that caused the deaths of so many of them, and the thing they are legitimately scared of. And Evelyn at first doesn't really want to believe this. However, the Doctor says to her that unfortunately it is true, he is the Sandman, he is the creature that lives in the mind of the Galliari, and he is the reason why they are afraid of him, but at the same time want to kill him. So, but at the same time they have to try and find a way of finding out what's happening, get a stop to it, and find a way to bring peace between the Travellers and the Galliari. And I do think overall this is a story that I don't know, it isn't necessarily my favourite, but I do like some of the ideas of it. I mean, having the Doctor as the kind of big villain, or it seems as though the big villain, having that idea and kind of showing the legends around it, I think it's a good idea. I don't know if this is necessarily one story that I particularly remember, but at the same time, I like the ideas of it. I mean, the, the imagery of these creatures are mostly reptilian, but the Doctor was able to kind of build himself a legend by using some of the skins of them. Building the layers on top of the skins in order to create a legitimately terrifying image. And, as I said, this is a story that I do think has a lot of potential. I mean, I feel if they did something like this in live action in the show, I feel it could really actually be a legitimately interesting story, seeing the Doctor somewhat go to the dark side, but also provide a good reason for it. Like, in part four, when they ultimately do explain that he arrived on a planet where these people were being terrorised by the Galliari, like the Galliari were trying to take over the planet, so he used kind of layers upon layers of this and was able to create a legitimately terrifying story to keep the Galliari away. 
I feel like if you did that in the modern show in New Who, this could actually be a really, really fun but also dark idea, seeing the Doctor go kind of megalomaniac. So, overall, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this story. I mean, as I said, I don't necessarily think it's the best one I've ever listened to, but at the same time, it's got some really interesting ideas, and if they did this again kind of in the show itself, I think this could be a really good story. But that doesn't mean it's bad by any means. I mean, once again, it's Colin Baker, Maggie Stables, Annika Wills, and the rest of the cast. They all do a really good job kind of selling the story. So, I don't know how I feel about it. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below and give me your thoughts on the Sandman. Anyway, till next review, see ya.